Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and welcome to the first video of my series on how to use Mod Organizer for Fallout New Vegas. And we will be going through each of the steps on how to optimize your game to use different mods. And uh, we'll be starting out with this episode just covering the basics on how to install Mod Organizer for Fallout New Vegas, where to put it, how to install it, and get it to work correctly for you. So let's get right into it, and we will go to the desktop. All right, guys, here we go. We are at the desktop. Whenever you see the desert sunset motif on my screen, you can always tell we're doing Fallout New Vegas. So uh, let's get started, and I want to talk first about uh, setting up Mod Organizer with Fallout New Vegas and how to do a fresh install, and that's always suggested. I'm not a big believer in the you know, conversion over from Nexus Mod Manager into Mod Organizer. I find it has problems, but you're welcome to find other videos about how to do so. But uh, we're going to do with a fresh install. And, you know, we've gone through and I cleaned up all my files and took out all the old saves, took out all the old mods, and removed all the Nexus Mod Manager stuff. And you can see, I used to have it right up here. It's gone. No more Nexus Mod Manager. It's all gone. But uh, in Steam, if you go to Fallout New Vegas and you want to clean that up, you can just go ahead and delete your local content and, you know, reinstall the whole thing. I don't think that's really neat, necessary. You can also go in here and, uh, let's see, updates, local files, and verify integrity of game cache. And that will reset your, all your any preferences and all that stuff. So you could do that and just reset the whole thing. But let's talk quickly about what to do first. Now, one of the things you're going to need to do when you do a clean install is actually run the game for the first time. I've already done so, but we're going to walk through it real fast. And you go to Steam here, right here. You can go to Play. But there's another way of doing it, and I want to show you that just in case. So you go back into your files, and you go to your games folder, wherever that may be, and you go to Steam. Steam Apps. Common. And you go to Fallout New Vegas. Now you will see right here you have the FNNV Fallout New Vegas Extend EXE application, and you can start the game that way. And I would suggest, you know, just knowing where this is at for future reference, um, and you could run the game this way. You know, it'd probably be easier just for most people just to hit play, and you'll start up Fallout New Vegas for the first time under Steam. Notice we're not doing it through Mod, Mod, Mod Organizer, but we want to go ahead and play it for the first time. And under options, you know, I always recommend going through and checking your um, video settings. And mine are, you know, if you go over here and look, boy, that is loud. But uh, mine's 1920 by 1080. I have windowed because I use Game Companion. If you're ever curious about Game Companion, there it is right there, 2.4. That allows a false full screen mode. So you can always do that. Boy, it's a lot better without that loud sound. So you would go ahead and close this and, you know, make sure you have your uh, video settings set the way you think it needs. And that all depends on your computer. So we'll close that down. I use Ultra, you know, the uh, GTX 980 I installed is working quite well. It's very pretty. But we can go ahead and cancel on that. Now you want to hit play. And this is to set up the any files and the any prep files. And you want to go ahead and hit play for the first time and let it load all the way through to the first menu screen. And by doing that, it's going to generate the correct files within the Fallout New Vegas folder to, you know, have it so Mod Organizer can run it correctly. And we're also going to need these for later on. But uh, we'll let this load up here. It's take its own sweet time. There we go. Okay. So... You know, you can see we have this screen right here. As long as you've got this, you're done. Exit out of that game. Goodbye. Okay, now we can close, at least minimize Steam, and we can get down to the main portion of the program, which is installing Mod Organizer. And you can see I already have it here, and you can, you know, I'm going to put it back in, my, in the center of my screen so we can get to it later. But uh, if you want to get this, there's a couple places to do so, but I always suggest going, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I always suggest going to the Nexus site, and it's under the Skyrim side of uh, the Nexus Mods page, but don't worry about that. You know, it's it's all the same. It's it's Mod Organizer by Tannen, and it'll have the most up-to-date uh, version. And you can see it's nexusmods.com Skyrim Mods 
one three three four. Okay. So this will tell you all about it, and I would suggest reading this. So you always read these, right? Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So you go to files, and you can see here you have just the zip file that'll have everything in it, but we suggest using the installer, and you would download this manually. Okay, I've already done so, as you know, since we have it right there. There it is, mod organizer. And we're going to show you how to do this. So through the um, app, the installer, you double click that, you hit run, and you hit next. And you want to read all the license agreement stuff. Yeah, okay, we read it. Done. I agree. And we want to go through these. These are the choose components. You can see we have all these different selections here. And we want to hit Handle, handle Nexus links, and it'll have Mod Organizer handle download NMM links on Nexus. Happens automatically when you use the Google, the Globe toolbar. We'll show you that. And the Start Menu Shortcut. Yes, it's going to go over here. I'll go through that in a little bit. And you hit Next. Now, it's going to want to install and program files. That's not where we want to do that. We want to browse. So we go into this, and we will go down to our same files. Same drive that you had your game on. Let me open that up. And it is under Steam. And we go down to Steam Apps. Where's that? There's Steam Apps right there. And we are looking for Common. It takes a little while to go through all these, but you get the idea. And Fallout New Vegas. Now, with that highlighted, you want to make a new folder. Okay, click New Folder right here. Make New Folder. And we're going to call it Mod Organizer. Nothing's groundbreaking about this. And hit OK. And now that's highlighted. You want to hit OK. And you can see it's under Steam, Steam Apps Common, Fallout New Vegas, Mod Organizer. And we hit install. And it's going to go through and install it into that file setting. All right. There you go. Has been installed on your computer. Run Mod Organizer. We will do that in just a second, but we'll hit finish. And there we go. So I had to actually go in and run it manually. It didn't set up the. Uh, toolbar up here. I should have known that ahead of time because I didn't run it right away. So it's going to give you a message of the day and it's going to say update 1.2.14, whatever. We'll give you all the changes and you can hit OK. There you go. You are in starting mod organizer for this closest time. You're starting mod organizer for, for the first time. Do you want to show a tutorial of its basic features? If you chose new, you can always start the tutorial from the help menu. Um, no, we're not going to do the tutorial because, you know, we're assuming that you know a bit about Mod Organizer from many other videos, and Gamer Poets does an excellent job on showing you how to work Mod Organizer. This is just to get you started and to show you how to install it. So we're going to hit no. So what we have here is Mod Organizer. And I'm going to minimize that for just a second. I want to show you where those files are. Okay. Now, if we go into our games folder yes, yet again, ignore this. This is not what you think it is. This is me not knowing what to do on Skyrim early on. So Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fault New Vegas. There's Mod Organizer right there. Okay, and you open that, up, open that up. And you can see all the Mod Organizer stuff, and you have the executable right there. Now, if we want to put this on our desktop, let's just go ahead and create a shortcut and we're going to move that shortcut over there there it is okay i'll rename that later but for right now i wanted to show you where that is now if you go back and we can close this down open this back up i should have just left it open under documents uh, my games fall new vegas there's your any any files and fallout preps dot any so those were generated by running the game for the first time. So it's in there. There we go. So that's all out of the way. Let's just get that out of the way. Open this back up and we can see it for the first time. Now we get into some interesting stuff. Now you will see it's registered all of this good stuff right over here, but I want you to look real closely at this. This is not optimized yet. These are not in their correct order. So over here you have a sort button. Okay. We want to hit click sort. This is a what I call loot light. Go ahead and hit 
model organizer loop light. It's waiting for a master list and it will create one. There we go. And we can close that down. So now you can see in the right panel over here with our plugins, you can see it's all in the correct order. Now what I want you to do is if this does not come in the correct order, I want you to move them around. Okay. Dead money. And then you have honest hearts. Let's see honest hearts right there. And you have Old World Blues, and you have Lonesome Road, there you go. Okay. And those are all in the correct order, so then you could do uh, Pack, Caravan, and this is kind of important. You don't, when they start, you know, getting, overriding each other, and you're going to need to clean these later on, but for right now, you want to make sure these are in the correct order. So you have Caravan, then you go Classic, and finally Mercenary. And then tribal, and then unmanaged fallen to Vegas ESM. And just put it right out there. Okay, there you go. So that is a much better looking thing. If you want to see uh, an example of this, um, you can go ahead and do so. I'm, actually, I want this up here, the very top. Very top. Thank you very much. Um, you can actually see. I'll put an image right here of what it should look like, and I'll put a link to a a picture that has that correct. So these are in the correct order now. Okay. I wouldn't worry about this too much. I'll I can fix that later. I think it's loot light being funny again. I wouldn't worry about it. Alright, let me just move that up. No, stop that. Alright, fine. Let's leave it the way it is for right now. I'll fix it later. But uh, you're gonna need to do a couple things and we're gonna go over these bars real fast, these buttons and you will have you know install a mod from an archive. Okay. And you can go to the Nexus to do that. But we're going to be worried more about configure profiles. And I want you to click this. And you want to highlight default. Okay. And then you're going to do two things. I want you to click automatic archive invalidation. Just like that. And I want you to copy it. Just like that. Copy. Please enter a name for the new profile. And for me, it's always Dirty Weasel. That's always. Whoa, what have I done? Sorry about that, guys. My new glasses, I can't see the keyboard quite as well as I used to with my new glasses. So there you go. All right. And we will close that. Okay. Now we will have, be able to go down and we have Dirty Weasel. And that's our new profile. So if you ever create more new profiles, you can either go into the profile settings like that or you can go into manage and you have the same screen. Okay. There's just two ways of doing the same thing. Right. Now. Here you have your executables that will come into play later on. You have your innies, and you can see our any editor. We have the fallout.ini already generated, and we have the falloutprefs.ini already generated. That's why we ran the game the first time, so it would generate these files with our graphic settings. Okay, just something. If you edit this, that's a more advanced feature. You need to edit this and then hit save. But for right now, we'll just close that. So we come over to our configuration tools and workarounds, and you have the general. You can see our directories on where it put everything, and Steam, Steam App Common, Fallout New Vegas, Mod, Mod Organizer, Downloads, Mods. Okay, we have these all look like they're in the right place. If you want to change them, you hit Advanced, and you can move those around. Okay. And we go in, and then you have the languages. If you have another language, okay. Styles. I just prefer this. Just leave it the way it is, but if you wanted to do clean looks, hit OK. I, I don't I don't see the difference there, but anyways. Or you can do uh Gamer Poets favorite. The dark. I don't like that personally, but it's just me. So oh, there you go. None. Okay. There we go. We're back. But what we were looking for is not workarounds, we want Nexus. So automatically log into Nexus. Now you can go ahead and click that and you can put in your username for the Nexus. And as many of you know that watch my videos on the Nexus, I am Caltex RN. Okay. If you ever message me, that's that's it right there. So and then you'd also put in your password. There it is. There's mine. I will block that out so you can't see it later. But uh there there you go. So you would hit OK. Right? Now one of the things you'll notice here, these are known servers are not up to date. And your preferred servers, all these will be 
generated the first time you log into the Nexus. Okay, don't worry about that right now. We're just going to be moving on. Okay, so we have our profile set up. We have our plugins set up on this page. We have our archives, data, downloads, all these different things, saves. These are all old saves that are somewhere in my save file that I didn't get rid of, but I will track those down and delete them because I don't want them. They're all going to be messed up. Okay. But you have all this stuff here. I wouldn't worry about that just yet. That's all later on down the road. And we will go over all that in the future. So, there you go. Okay. If you wanted to log into the Nexus, you could right now. And it would go into Lux the uh, Nexus Fallout New Vegas site. And you could find your first mod. But that's, that's later on down the road. Okay. Let's talk a bit about the symbols. You notice my Skyrim mod organizer has its own custom symbol. I want to differentiate the two, and you can see by having two of the same symbol over here would be a little confusing. That's why I'm changing them. So what I want you to do is, you know, we're going to rename this, number one. We're going to put it as New Vegas huh? Mod Organizer. That didn't doesn't look good, does it? Let's try it again. Uh, F-O-N-V. Memo. How's that? Ah, that looks better. Okay. So that's all renamed. And we will right click that. And I want you to hit properties. If you ever want to change this, um, so it doesn't have the mod organizer symbol, if you just want to have something else, you can hit change icon. And you could do that right there. And it has the mod organizer one. But we were going to browse. I have icons. I downloaded these from DeviantArt. You can find lots of uh, icons. I just put in what. It, you know, fallout.ico as a search, and it came up with these. I thought this was a really cool icon, so um, let's do this. It's going to match some of the other stuff. I may do this one. I'm not sure. I haven't really decided. So we'll hit open, and we hit OK, and we hit OK, and there you go. And it has now a new little Nuka Cola bottle cap icon. So if you wanted to click on that, open mod organizer. And we're back into Fallout New Vegas. It's it's pretty simple stuff. Um, over here on the executables, you can go ahead and configure those in over here. And the Fallout New Vegas launcher. Okay, you have the launcher.exe. Fallout New Vegas launcher. Okay, and we go Fallout launcher just like this. It wouldn't be a big deal, and it will start it for us. There you go. That's the um, Steam version. Close that. It will reopen it again. New Vegas. Let's try it again. There we go. A little faster. See? That's how it works. And quit out of that. See so, yeah. Exit game. There we go, and we're back. So that's basically the basics of install. I mean, it's not complicated stuff. The complications come later on when we start installing more advanced things. In my next video, we're going to be covering the New Vegas script extender and the four gigabyte uh, Fallout New Vegas loader and how to install those into Mod Organizer and how to run them under the executables. But for now, that's the basics, guys. I hope you found this helpful, and we will get back in the future with all these new videos and covering a lot of different topics because there's really a dearth of information out there for Mod Organizer and Fallout New Vegas. So that's it for now. My name is Cal. I'm from Nerdy Weasel, and I'm signing off.